so lucky to live with all this just a few minutes from my doorstep. It's best I don't make, make the most of it really. Um, I mean, hands up if you actually make the most of what's right on your doorstep. I have shot out here before, in this very field actually. Um, but I mean that, it doesn't happen regularly enough. I mean, it took me about 10 minutes to run here and open fields, it's beautiful. And I mean, even if, if you don't have countryside on your doorstep, you know, just make the most of whatever's on your doorstep. If it's, if it's an urban setting, you know, the, not just my, my stuff, but you've you seen loads of, loads of people's images of urban photography. Just, you don't need to travel miles and miles to, to be able to take photos of interesting things. Sometimes your doorstep is where it's at. So with that being said, um, I've just had a quick wander on down to Sheffield city centre, a couple of quick pictures, see what we can see. As luck would have it, there's actually a really, really nice sunset going on right now. Look, the colour of that sky is amazing. I'm not quite sure if I'm the best spot to get a shot, but I'll, I'll see where I can, where I can find. What I'm doing is just trying to couple, couple of different exposures couple of different um, F numbers just to see what works best there's a lot of contrast it's quite dark here we've got the sunset and then we've got the light we've got the lights in the middle ground so see what works best currently at uh, ISO ISO 100 four second exposure F14 I'll do to uh, start the night off. Walking down towards the train station. That's where these awesome purple thistles there. Got this lovely sort of golden, long golden grass here. And looking over to the, the lights of the train station. And then we've got the actual sort of skyline beyond that. And these some awesome cloud formations going on. Hopefully this could look quite nice. Again, I'm just trying out a few different exposures, um, just with, it, with such variation in lights and shadows, it's, it's hard to get it. It's hard, it's hard to get the get the exposure just right. The good thing is, I know with Lightroom, I can always pull the shadows back a lot and get rid of the highlights. So there's always a, there's a middle ground to find. That last shot might turn out quite nice. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just set up slightly further down, just in this long grass just behind me here. Um, might try and get a tram in shot. There's a tram waiting at the the station tram stop now, so I might be able to get down there in time. I don't like it. Yeah, coupled with the fact that the grass is moving too much, as the breeze is picking up, so. I don't like it. Let's see what else we can find. Going back to the point I was trying to make earlier. The, you can you can travel all over the place. You could, and I would love to travel all you know all around the world and see some amazing locations and photograph them. But if <laughs> if you can't do that, you're going to make the most of what you've got on your doorstep be that countryside or trams or whatever. You make the most of it. There's always a composition, there's always a good picture to be had. Wherever you go, wherever you happen to be. When 
when I've been passing, when I've been on the tram, I've always seen this little, this weird little overhang. It's, it's kind of on top of the tunnel where the trains leaving the station, kind of disappear under the ground. And uh, I've always thought about shooting here, but I've never actually remembered to do it. I can see straight into the station now. Um, I'm practically looking along at the length of all the tracks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six train tracks. But the road on the right, so there's all these lines coming up and down the frame this way. It's fantastic. And hopefully, at least one of these trains is going to set off and do something in a minute. That'll make it more in, a bit more interesting to shot. That's the second time tonight I've recorded a little piece to camera and forgot to actually press the record button. Quite a long thing about camera settings and all kinds of other bits and pieces. Didn't record it, can't remember what I said. So that's me done for that anyway, heading back to the car now. Facebook and Instagram links below, check it out, leave a comment if, uh, if you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.